Breaking news on Regeneron. Let's get right to Meg Terrell, who has a special guest. Hi, Meg. Hi, Joe. That special guest is Regeneron Chief Scientific Officer Dr. George Yankopoulos. With the news that the company has just begun the first clinical trials of their antibody cocktail for COVID-19, <clears throat> Dr. Yankopoulos, thanks for being with us this morning. You know, you've laid out a, a pretty substantial clinical trial plan here with four different uh, study arms evaluating both uh, prevention and treatment with this drug. Tell us about this approach. Well, before we get into the trials, uh, let me just start with the science and technology because that's where it always starts at Regeneron. And I do have to pause for a second here to consider what's happened here because I'm not sure it's ever happened before. On the very same day that we announced publication of fundamental new scientific discoveries, in back-to-back -back papers in the world's premier scientific journal. Well, on that very same day, we announced that we are taking advantage of these discoveries already to start and treat patients. Uh, we've already treated our first patient suffering from this horrific pandemic. And I think it speaks to the incredible effort and dedication by so many throughout our bio industry, and particularly the incredible effort of our scientists and people who ever since we realized this incredible challenge um, that was put to the world, they've been working 24 seven combining their incredible ingenuity and in old fashioned blood, sweat and tears to turn this into reality to try to save mankind. So I, I'm very proud of the entire bio industry and particularly our people for making the science and technological discoveries and bringing them so rapidly to this point, which, as you say, we're starting to test them in trials. And we have a very aggressive program. We work very closely with the FDA, uh, a very innovative new way to combine all phases of testing, aggressive phase one, phase two, phase three, adaptive design, where very rapidly we will hopefully be able to quickly test the safety and then start understanding the efficacy for four major different settings uh, of this uh, virus challenge. One, to treat the sickest patients, those who are in the hospital who are on ventilators uh, or requiring oxygen support. Um, that's one class, the hospitalized patients. Two is the people who are infected in early stages of disease, showing that we can stop the disease, reverse it, so they don't progress and rapidly cure them and make them non-infectious. Third, to treat and prevent disease in the context of these very people who have recently been infected. And fourth, as a widespread prophylactic to prevent disease in uh, people who are at high risk. For example, the heroes uh, who are working at the front lines, the healthcare workers and so forth, to make sure that we have something to give them so that they will be able to do their job and not worry about getting infected. Well, I want to ask you also about those scientific discoveries you just mentioned. So you have two papers that have been accepted by the journal Science. We're going to get to see them on Monday. Uh, but essentially what they show that you've detailed today is that a cocktail approach um, with antibodies can do uh, similar things to what we saw with cocktails with antiviral drugs for HIV, which is potentially protect against the uh, virus's ability for mutants to evade one single drug approach. Now, your competitors like Eli Lilly have started human trials with one antibody. Are you concerned that that approach is going to lead to uh, mutant versions of the virus getting around that drug? Yeah, first of all, I don't view any of us in during this pandemic as competitors. I think we're all working and we're doing our best together. As you said, I think that the fundamental discoveries that we showed um, in this scientific papers now is that just like with conventional old fashioned antiviral drugs, giving one can have enormous benefit initially, but it can lead to the um, selection and the arise of escaped viral mutants, which now could be very dangerous and risky. Uh, and what we showed is that in order to prevent this, you have to give these antibodies in cocktails. I think that there are very serious risks to consider, that we do not want to be selecting the same type of escape drug-resistant mutants with single antibodies as was seen in the early days of HIV and AIDS. And I, I hope that 
Um, everybody out there who's considering using single antibodies looks at the data, looks at the science, and, and considers those risks. And I think when we have an antibody cocktail like this available, the one that is already now in clinical trials, um, uh, I think that people should think about whether they should be proceeding with single antibody trials.